Hey guys, we're here just outside of Charlotte at the U.S. National Whitewater Center, Tommy. So this is a very family-oriented, well, whitewater rafting place to review and give you a first look at a very family-oriented vehicle. And that, of course, is the brand new 21 Chrysler Pacifica. So, Tommy, why don't you start with giving them a walk around and show them what's new? Well, there are a ton of changes for the 2021 Pacifica. It's got a new nose, it's got a new rear end, and we're gonna start out here in the front. Now the headlights are new for this model, as is the whole front fascia. So the old one had these very swoopy headlights. The new one has a much more aggressive design with this pointy like signature that extends up and then back down. It's got a larger grill than the old one. This is the Pinnacle model, and Pinnacle is a the pinnacle of the Pacific lineup. So we have 20 inch wheels there along the side. And then in the rear, we see all new tail lights. So we now have the much more continuous LED light signature, like what you'd find on the Charger and Durango. But the big news, Dad, is this badge right there. Yeah, now you can get it in all wheel drive. Uh, the Pacifica starts at about 35,000. Uh, and if you get this one, the Pinnacle, with all the bells and whistles, you're at 55000 And you can add all-wheel drive onto it for about 2500 depending on what model you get. Uh, you know, back in 1983, Chrysler, let's face it, invented the minivan. Uh, and they really engineered some firsts. Like, for instance, Stone Ghost. Let me show you those. Of course, you get those. And those are really cool. With one button, you can stow both the second and third row. Let's stow this row. Just hit the button. And let's watch this choreographed seat dance as it completely stows into the back of the minivan. Now, uh, there is a hybrid version, Tommy, uh, that can go up to 30 miles uh, on a charge. It's a plug-in hybrid. And if you get that, uh, then you can't stow... I think it's the rear seats, right? Because that's where the battery lives. You can't stow the second row. Oh, the second row. So on the plug-in hybrid, you can still do this, but you can't stow those. The other thing you get that stow, everything's now stow. Check this out. You get the uh, stow and vac. Right. There's a vacuum now built in. Um, <laughs> like, so Like the competitors, right? Yeah, so a lot of the competitors offer that too. But it's a really, uh, really handy system. I know a lot of people dislike how on the Sienna you can't really remove the second row, but on the Pacifica, you can still option it with stow and go so you can even stow uh, the second row as well. Now the all-wheel drive system is interesting. It is um, a, a big deal for Chrysler because the last Chrysler minivan to have all-wheel drive was way back in 2004. So the all-wheel drive is only available on the gasoline lean engine. You can't get it on the hybrid. And the way it works is it's got a three-piece drive shaft. It's got a, uh, a power drive unit with a wet clutch system that can distribute power to the rear end. Still primarily front wheel drive, but if you're driving through snow, if you're in slippery conditions, if it's really cold, if the windshield wipers are on, if you're uh, going up a steep hill, it'll kick on all wheel drive, uh, send power to the back so that you have the additional traction you need. Yeah, it's crazy, man. If you turn on your windshield wipers, it activates all wheel drive. If you're, you know, turning the wheel really sharply, it activates all wheel drive. There are all these conditions. Uh, so I think they do that because they want to get good fuel economy, right? I think so, yeah. yeah, so it completely disconnects. 3.6 liter Pentastar V6, same engine in the Charger, Challenger, Wrangler, Grand Cherokee, Ram, just a ton of them, under 300 horsepower, um, but not much under 300 horsepower, so it is a powerful engine. Let's show them the inside, and we're gonna start out with the seats, because this Pinnacle has some really cool seats with this diamond stitching around the shoulders and down here on the bottom bolsters. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's really, uh really top end nice you know I mean you feel like you're getting into something special and they also changed around the center console on this pinnacle why don't you show them that the old one had a, uh, a pass through here the new one the new Pacifica actually has got more of a flow through um, with the way they've incorporated the cubbies here but you can see down below you still have a lot of storage capacity it just looks more premium and more car like and look at this this pinnacle also has wood in various places I'll shut the door so you can see it's up here on the door, it's on the dash, uh, but still have the rotary shifter. Yeah, uh, and of course, look at this now. Now you can charge your phone um, using wireless charging and you get a plethora of USB and USC ports so you can power all your devices. And look at all this storage. They say it's what, seven liters? Is that, is that the number I recall from the press conference? I think, I think that's right, yeah. 7.6. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, storage space. But the big news is here, and Dad, if you wouldn't mind turning up the headlights so we can see it a little better. Yeah, we'll do. This is the new Uconnect 5 system. It's powered by Android and it is a 10.1 inch system that is so much improved over the older Uconnect 4. So 
much higher resolution. They said, what, three times better? Yeah, three times sharper, and it looks sharper. It just looks much more modern. The functionality is still similar, but it now has things like uh, wireless Apple CarPlay. Um, you know, and it's, it's crisp, too. The Android systems are really, really good, and this one is no exception. The other cool thing, of course, is something new, uh, and this is something that a lot of the mini uh, van makers have been uh, working on, and that is how you either communicate with the kids in the back row or see the kids in the back row. And Chrysler went with this, they call it the fam cam, right? So I'll get in the back seat and then you activate it and we'll show them what it does. Yeah, I'll show you the fam cam, it's pretty cool. All right, so my dad is heading back there now, yep. and there is a little icon up here on the top left. I'll zoom in so you can see that. It's a little guy actually in a video camera. Touch that. Come on. There we go. And now you have a top view of both the second and the third row seats. Yeah, if, I'm, if, that, rear facing, uh, if I'm in a rear facing uh, child seat, right? You don't know what I'm peeking up back here, but now because of the fam cam, you can see what the little guy's doing. But you're you're, you're too tall of a baby. It's cutting I'm off sorry. your head. Maybe if you duck down. There you go. Now you look like a baby. Can I show you something else that's cool? Do you see that? Whoa, what are those? Let me show you here. Look at that. You get pillows with the pinnacle model for some awesome pillow fights back here. I think they call them lumbar pillows. They're supposed to live in the second row. Uh, apparently, it's a it's a hugely requested option that they get all the time. Yeah, and then, of course, over here, you've got your infotainment system with a bunch of new games. Uh, so if you don't have an iPad and you want the kids to entertain themselves, you can do that as well. You've got complete uh, controls. Four new games. Four new can games. Can you name them? Uh, where are we? Isn't that one of them? Chess, checkers, I don't know, I can probably look them up over here. Well, the new one now Hanging is... Fruit? <laughs> no, there's, no, there's one called, uh, well, Chess is new. Yeah. And Backgammon. I've never met anyone that knows how to play Backgammon. Yeah, I, except for, like, movies. I've never seen actually anybody playing it. So sorry and, for all you Backgammon experts out there. And apparently, like, three billion people that live in the eastern part of the world. You know what's cool? You get this massive panoramic sunroof, and then you get another one back there. So even if you're in the way back, you have... Uh, a little one. Yeah, a little one. And then, you know, I always love when they uh, incorporate these privacy screens. So you get them uh, in the second row, and, of course, you get them in the third row. That always feels like you're special, like you're hiding in the back here. And check out what they did, too. So the pinnacle, they wanted to kind of separate apart from the competition. So you've got the, uh, the the quilting here, but they've done little things like this down here. They've now plated the seat controls in a silver finish, and back here, the handle. Reach for the door handle, but don't open it, Dad. That's now in a silver finish on the Pinnacle. Did you know that Chrysler was the first to actually do VAP-powered uh, sliding doors? Were they really? Yeah, that's what they told us at least. Wow, fancy. So, Tommy, you just had a chance to review uh, the Toyota and the Honda, right? Um, so, uh, tell me about how this differs. Well, it's it's um, it's pretty different. I love the availability of Stow & Go for the second row seats in the Chrysler. That's a huge deal. I love the availability of all-wheel drive which you can't get on the uh, Odyssey. Of course, you can still get it on the Sienna. I like the V6 in this. Um, driving impressions are embargoed, but I have driven that V6 in other products and it's it's a strong engine. And I, I just, I like the uh, the overall design. It feels like a very modern vehicle, but the new Sienna is really brilliant. I mean, really? every Sienna now has hybrid power. Yeah. Every Sienna has the, uh, the improved fuel economy that comes with that as well. So it's gotten tight. The Odyssey's feeling a little bit old compared to this. And this just feels more luxurious, especially in the pinnacle trim than the competition. You know, if you get the hybrid, um, you get a 16 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, so you could go up to about 30 miles on pure electricity uh, with uh, 80 MPG equivalent if you're, you know, just driving on electricity. And the hybrid is the only hybrid in class and it's uh, uh, up to $7,500 tax credit yeah, on the hybrid. Yeah, so you still get your federal tax credit for those, but you can't, like you said before, get it in an all-wheel drive, which is a shame, because I think that's, the, you know, we always put up uh, videos and people say, hey, I wish I could, and in this one, I'm gonna say, I wish I could get the all-wheel drive with the hybrid. I just think that there's probably too much going on underneath the, that. The funny thing is, though, like what Toyota does is they have the, the, the rear wheels powered by an electric motor. Yeah. Jeep, Jeep does the same thing on the Renegade hybrid. Yeah. Uh, why couldn't they include that system in the Pacifica? I don't know. Should we check out the rear seats? Yeah, go in the back. See how that is. So these are reclining seats. Check that out. Power reclining seats in the rear. Um, and you do that via these buttons here on the side of the vehicle. And then open up your sunroof so you can get that kind of... Oh, yeah. Ooh! Dead. I know. Pretty cool, huh? So look, here's this too, Dad. That's, That's the camera. camera. Yeah. You know, um, 
as much as minivans get kind of the the rap for being the ultimate family mobile and that, thus not being very fun or sexy i gotta tell you there's nothing better for a long road trip uh, than a minivan. I got to take one of these actually from uh, Wyoming back to Colorado last year. Uh, and as a as a long haul vehicle, uh, it's as good as it gets. Tons of room, tons of cup holders, tons of um, space. Uh, and now with the all-wheel drive option, you know, when you're driving into a snowstorm, you're not too worried about it. And what uh, Chrysler has done with this is they made it completely invisible, right? So uh, nothing tells you when it's an all-wheel drive. It just does it on its own. I found something cool back here. What'd you find? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you found the vacuum. I found the vacuum. Stolen, stolen oh, there's a button here. Let's see if it'll turn on. There it goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, loose. Oh. Just put it on the hair. If you had a flowbie, right? You could do the you could do the hair thing. A flowbie. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you could you could have a mobile uh, uh, barber shop in your minivan <laughs> with a flowbie for all of you who remember the flowbie. Well, guys, uh, there's been your first look at the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica, uh, and you know these guys invented the minivan, uh, and they spend a lot of time and energy um, engineering it to stay, you know. Uh, as kind of the uh, the industry leader, and I think uh, they've probably done enough to, to keep that, don't you? I especially love you know the high end premium interior, but fifty five thousand dollars, Tommy, that's a lot of money. You know what's funny though? In Japan, yeah. the minivans are such a big deal. You yeah. know the luxury ones. It's just a matter of perspective. I mean, this is probably more interior room than an S class, and the leather certainly isn't far off in terms of quality. Look at this. There's suede on the pillow. Yeah, should we have a pillow fight? Do you want to go at it? Dude? No, I think I think that's it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, remember, check out TFL Car for more news, views, and, of course, honest, actually independent, Tommy, and honest reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.